So today we're going to do a little experiment. This is Dermabond. Dermabond is sometimes used to try and get foreign bodies out of ears. We're going to see how this works as far as hooking up to a uh, Q-tip and on plastic. We're going to do a little experiment. So those are your uh, two Q-tips that you have in your hand there? Yep. I think one of the issues we may run into is that this one's hollow. Yeah. The plastic one. Yeah, that that is an so, issue. Of the the uh, so it's the got plastic. less surface area. Yeah, or it may fill up with uh, dermabond that would pour out into the ear. That's true. So how long do you think we need to hold this? I'm not sure how long does the dermabond usually take to. I don't have a good idea, but we will. Let's just let's give it a good minute, like, or like uh, two minutes. Two minutes. All right. How long do you think we've had this going now? Probably a minute and a half to two minutes. All right. So that we're we're uh, we have a patient that has a plastic bead stuck in his ear that's waiting on us, and and so we wanted to make sure that that we were using the right equipment. So so, so if if you look closely lifted. there, I think with the plastic one that the you actually had maybe more material come out mm -hmm. isn't, isn't that true you have a you have a larger ring around it yeah definitely so it do. actually it actually had um, kind of soaked up into the yeah I don't know if you can appreciate that on the current view but it looks like there might be still some in there as well okay well that's an interesting point that you would have to consider is that if it gets if it actually fills up the uh, q-tip that's hollow then it would come pouring out and you'd have a q-tip stuck to the kid's ear because you'd have more than what you wanted. So for this, were you planning on just lifting them both simultaneously and see if one breaks why don't, off why don't we other, first? Why don't we you? first start and see if they'll stand on their own? Neither of them did. Neither. So that's interesting. What's your analysis of our of our research here? Um, that this is going to be a failure, most we, likely. We need to go to Plan B. Yes. So we're trying another variation on this. We're actually trying the cotton tip, and we're going to see if the cotton tip actually works too. So, hi, Dr. Bell. How are you? Are we're we're, doing we're experimenting. The yeah, we're experimenting with the derm. We're doing a little research project here. Let's see, um, the, are they both dermabond? Or yeah, they're both dermabond. One is one is the uh, uh, plastic oh, the, uh, okay, swab, and one's wood. Okay. And we tried the the, uh, the the wooden tip and the plastic tip without the cotton on it, and it didn't work. So now we're trying it with the cotton. Let's see if that'll work. Because uh, everybody, in terms of like foreign body removal. Yeah, from an ear. Yeah, we try. I tried it once and it didn't work. So. <laughs> okay, but there. So we have another testimonial here. We're doing a video on this. I left my my um, my real video at home, so it's charging. So we're using this little one. Yeah, the one time I attempted it, it didn't really work. Didn't All right. It takes a long time too, huh? Well, that one's clearly not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one might be the trick. That might be it. Yeah. Yeah, because I think we Well, now, now, did you have more Dermabond on, on the other one? First chance? And just I actually thought we had a little bit less on on this one. Oh, yeah. Um, but it had a flatter end surface than okay. this one did. This one was a little more rounded. Okay, so put the other one back on and see if it, see if, give it another chance and see if it'll work. Well, look at that. That one's standing up on its own, so. I wonder if it's the difference between cotton and rayon. Yeah, that's that's true. One is cotton and one's rayon. It's, I've been saying cotton, but it's actually, I think the plastic one is rayon. Mm -hmm. It's 
not working. I don't think that one's going to. Interesting. All right. Worth a, worth a shot. So you think this is going to get, uh, we could put this on Mythbusters on that TV show? <laughs> we could. Yeah. If it works. If it works. Basically, put the uh, Nermabot on the tip of this uh, swab, and we're holding it, stabilizing it with the uh, ear spectrum. All right. So, do you want me to hold the ear? Uh, I think I can. Okay. Do this one. You can try and take that spectrum out first if you want. No. No.